guys welcome back to the channel before we jump into this outdoor setup don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel all right guys so today we'll be doing this setup on these two panels the panels are rented from a local um, vendor that I use most of the time if my clients are interested interested in it uh renting a backdrop and right now i am building oh that was super quick <laughs> i built the side garland and i use clusters of eight balloons with quads of four balloons attached now i try to do something like a h method on the the patio but I, whatever paint they used it was not holding i did the clear gas tape and I used the black gaff tape. They both came up, neither worked. So I end up doing the H method. This is gonna come up eventually, but I end up doing the H method on the front of the backdrop um, using the clear gaff tape, and I'll link that in the description box. That did hold. And usually I find that using the clear gaff, I don't use the black one on the front of any backdrop. But the clear one, I have used it several times, and it several times, and it don't damage it. So um, I like that much better for the front of the backdrop because the floor it was not holding at all. And I think this would be one of those times, like if I had a water bottle, um, it would have been nice to use the water bottle method where you wrap the water bottle with a 260 and you put that around the balloon, and it holds it in place so it doesn't move around. And there are several times in this video when I was watching that when I was editing and watching it back, there were some shapes that I like, and I'm like, why didn't I stay it there? But I don't think I was stepping back as much as I should have when I was adding. I was adding a lot at one time, and I wasn't stepping back to see how I like it, and I was missing out on some really good shapes, like even this right here on the right side. I really like how that's pointing out at the bottom how it's flared it gave it you know some definition just having it there and i don't think i was stepping back enough to notice and i was moving things and <laughs> yeah a lot of a lot of things i learned on this setup to be quite honest um even with my i've been ODing if you guys notice on 16 inch balloons a little bit and I had to, after this setup, I had to like, okay, I need to roll it down <laughs> back again. I don't know how I even started doing it. Um, because if you guys remember long, long time ago, I remember, remember mentioning how 60 inches, I wasn't a total fan of them. But, and then somehow I just started using them again a lot. And yeah, I need to slow up again. And as you just seen, I did the H method on the panel in the front so it can hold it in place because I didn't have anything on the floor. And I was using for the back of the backdrops, I was using the clear adhesive hooks from Amazon. So I will link those as well. But back to the 16 inch balloons, if you see on the left side, those two 16 inches, the brown ones, and for all the colors, I will link them in the description box inshallah for you guys uh what i used but those two big 16 inches at the top on the left side they were in my eyes not appealing <laughs> at all they i don't know what i was thinking i don't, I don't know it was just I, don't, I didn't really like it the whole setup was okay but those two 16 inches was an eyesore i feel like every time i looked at the picture i was staring at them and I just couldn't. <laughs> this setup did not make the feed on Instagram at all. But of course, I was still sharing with you guys so we can discuss why it won't be making the feed and my lessons learned from this setup. So I definitely, after this, started to really back on the 16 inches a little bit more again. And my key thing with 16 inches, like even on the right side at the bottom, I usually don't like to end my garlands off with 16 inches. I usually like my 16 inches surrounded by 11 inches. I usually don't like them pointing outwards and I only like them in the front. So there were so many rules that I broke on this setup 
that I don't know if I was just outside in the heat and maybe I was a little delusional and like, I don't know what was going on and what was I doing. But your girl definitely had to, uh, I had to check myself because no. I mean, and the clients loved it and that's what matters, a humbly love. But for myself and my standards, I needed to check myself real quick. But this is the final setup, you guys. This is how everything came out. If you have any questions or if you feel the same about your setups, leave a comment below. I would love to hear it and we can cry together. See you guys on the next video, inshallah.